I'm on the boat again, going into town to disassemble the first marble machine. The marble machine is going to Spielklok Museum in Holland, which is the museum where I found the inspiration to actually build the machine. Here are some of the other music instruments they have at Spielklok Museum. And uh, this feels fantastic. I have to make the machine kind of work. It's going to be um, demonstrated for the visitors at the museum so I'm gonna make the vibraphone work I'm not gonna make the drums work or the bass work but as long as I can make the vibraphone play a simple melody as I did playing and that's it <laughs> and I'm gonna exchange the rubber bands into springs and yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be in May so this summer if you want to see the marble machine you can actually go to Utrecht and see it but I'm gonna give you more information on that later first step today is to take take it apart About the fact that if the door here was wider than 70 centimeters I wouldn't have to take this apart at all but now the machine is 85 centimeters and the door is 70 so I need to take everything apart and everything is built on top of everything else in this machine like I put something on and then I put another piece of plywood on hiding that first screw so to get this thing apart I had to really like undo everything and that's one big difference with the new marble machine everything is going to be accessible at any time and no screws will be hidden behind other layers of plywood and when I see these hand cut improvised pieces when I see this part the one single word that comes to my mind is desperation <laughs> And I built this solution on top of other existing solutions that I let go of. Uh, it's, it's really fun. It was actually super fun to disassemble the machine today. Uh, let me get back to you if it's going to be as fun to reassemble the machine. That's another question. When I started taking it apart, I had such a good organization. I put everything in small parts, I put numbers on everything. And halfway through, I just started to chucking pieces everywhere and just taking them off the machine. Which I'm gonna pay for when I'm assembling this in Holland again. I'm gonna take it apart in steps and uh, put numbers on all the pieces. And I hope I will remember where they should go when I have to assemble it again in May. I don't know why I do that. I, I, I am socializing a lot with engineers nowadays, so I shouldn't do stuff like that anymore. But, um. This day really made me lighthearted. Like packing this machine, there was something about it that felt so good. I don't know. It's a kind of moving on feeling. I love this marble machine, but I also love that we're building a better one. That's it. And if you ever want to make a nice time lapse, make sure you have a good harp to put your time lapse camera on. The harp has a perfect curve here, so you can place your clamp wherever you want to. And if you want a time lapse image to really shimmer in, you can just. 
play the harp while it's filming. I'm gonna make an experiment now, and then I play the harp while the time lapse is recording, and you can see the effect. Okay. 